Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at the involvement of six Teesside men in an international drugs operation which flooded the area with staggering quantities of Class A substances has finally been exposed. Gary McCartan, 38, Jason Wilton, 33, Dean Johnson, 52, Lee Moody, 44, Gary Huggins, 35 and Ryan Alborn, 29 have been brought to justice for their roles in the organised criminal enterprise which linked Teesside to the Northwest and mainland Europe in 2015 and 2016. Their story is linked to a world of helicopter drug drops, leading underworld figures and huge sums of money and drugs. The arrogance of two of the Teesside gang even saw them name their Stockton clothing business Cartel. The men were snared in a long-running Operation Spoonbill, a Cleveland police investigation initially concerned with the activities surrounding Thailand-based Teesside kingpin Jonathan Morby and his links to the notorious Merseyside gangster Lance Kennedy. In May, Mr Morby was extradited from Thailand and jailed for 14 years for his role in the drugs operation earlier this year. Mr Kennedy, 32, was jailed for more than 18 years in July 2019 alongside other senior members of the operation. The sophisticated enterprise saw vast quantities of Class A drugs, mainly high purity cocaine, imported into the UK via chartered helicopter flights from continental Europe including Belgium. The flights would deviate from submitted flight plans to drop off radar in order to make drug drops near the south coast. On one occasion, 103 kilograms of drugs, 60 kilograms of heroin and 43 kilograms of cocaine were recovered from a BMW in Kent. The drugs had a street value of more than £10 million and 35 encrypted headsets, often used by drug dealers, were also were covered. Six flights, which contain a combined total of just under 500 kilograms of cocaine, with an estimated wholesale value of £17.25 million, were linked to Mr Kennedy. Couriers, mainly from the North West, would then deliver drugs to Teesside and meet Mr McCartan, Mr Wilton, Mr Moody and Mr Johnson. Prosecutor Stephen McNally told Teesside Crown Court on Friday that the courier trips brought significant amount of high purity Class A drugs, primarily cocaine, for delivery across the region. There were also Class B drugs supplied including amphetamine and cannabis. The pure Class A drugs being supplied were to be adulterated for onward distribution to boost the gang's profits. Mr McNally said it was not impossible to give the definitive total of amounts of drugs involved. The court was told it was not asserted that all of the many hundreds of kilos imported via the helicopter drops were then supplied to this group of defendants. However, the quantities of hard drugs that were passed to Morby and associated groups in the northeast were significant. Once received by the northeast based conspirators, the drugs were passed to local dealers by McMartin, Wilton, Moody and Johnson. Jason Wilton and Gary McCartan were the senior figures in the Teesside operation. Mr McCartan of Wimpole Road, Farfield, Stockton, played a leading role, directing the couriers and minders such as Mr Johnson and Mr Moody. Described as security conscious, Mr McCartan met couriers from the North West personally. He was directly involved with numerous meetings and resulted from the courier trips to the North East, some of which were immediately after import deliveries. Mr Wilton and Mr McCartan were essentially operating together and operating at a level such that it would be difficult to distinguish between them in terms of hierarchy, Mr McNally said. The duo were also business advocates via their Stockton based clothes store, ironically named Cartel. Mr Wilton was also said to have a well established connection with Jonathan Morby and he had been involved in Morby's attempt to influence a key witness prior to his trial in 2014. Mr Wilton had been convicted for involvement in the offering of £10,000 to a witness, the court heard. Whenever courier trips and deliveries took place, Mr Wilton was involved in the telephone contact and was more aware of what was happening. Dean Johnson of Orkney Way, Thorn Abbey, worked under the direction of Mr McCartan and Mr Wilton. He was described as having a significant role and acted as a courier of drugs and cash which would be stored at his home. Various courier trips involved visits to that home. Mr Moody played a very similar role to that of Johnson, McNally said, acting as a courier and storer of drugs and cash, which he would also keep at his home at Armadale Close in Fairfield, Stockton. Ryan Alborn was convicted of being connected in the supply of cannabis following the recovery of his fingerprints from a kilogram package of cannabis that was among the 10 kilograms seized from Mr Johnson. 
after he had collected them from Mr. Moody's home on the 5th of December 2016. Mr. Huggins was employed by Mr. Wilton and Mr. McCartan on December the 6th, 2016 to recover two and a half kilograms of cocaine from Mr. Moody's garage. Mr. Huggins turned up in a taxi and removed the box from the garage which contained the cocaine which was worth over a hundred thousand pounds. Mr. Huggins was later arrested by police returning to the taxi. Mr. Alborn and Mr. Higgins were convicted at a trial at Teesside Crown Court. A co-defendant, Neil Briggs, 54 from Skelton, was found not guilty of drug dealing and alleged money laundering of more than a hundred thousand pounds. A fourth man, Matthew Ramage, also from Skelton, was accused of involvement in the drug conspiracy but was cleared earlier in the trial after the prosecution offered no evidence. Five other Teesiders, Emma Newton, Lewis Lyons, Stephen Harland, Darrell Small and John Eddy were previously jailed for their role in the operation in 2020. In defence, Damien Nolan, for Mr McCartan, said he was now dedicated to his family and children and had not offended since. He said custody was going to have a significant impact on him. Tom Mitchell for Wilton said he had made the best of his time in custody and had done everything to make himself a better man. Amrit Jandu for Johnson said he got involved in the conspiracy after he had accrued a debt from cocaine use. Andrew Turton for Mr Moody said he has sincere regret and remorse for letting himself and his family down. Joe Kidd, for Mr Alborn, said he was only involved for a short period of time and is now living a quiet life. Stephen Welford, for Mr Higgins, said he was now living with his mum and was building a life with his partner and children. Judge Howard Croson said the men were involved in a conspiracy that saw Class A drugs imported into the UK and then brought to the North East. The sentences the judge handed down were as follows. Mr. McCartan was jailed for six years and four months. Mr. Wilton was jailed for six years and four months. Mr. Johnson was jailed for five years and four months. Mr. Moody was jailed for five years and four months. Mr. Higgins was jailed for three years and six months. And Mr. Alborn was jailed for eight months. Following the sentencing, Detective Chief Inspector Sarah Robinson of Cleveland Police said the court heard how these men worked together in an operation to supply Class A drugs. These individuals were linked to an important group in the Northwest, which police had dealt with as part of the Operation Spoon Bill. The court heard how their individual activities as courier or store men ensured wholesale drugs reached the streets of Teesside. Drugs cause misery in our communities and we welcome today's sentences, which reflect the harm caused by these men as they selfishly pursued their own financial gain. I'd like to thank the investigative team who have worked tirelessly and over a long period of time to uncover and expose the drug supply chains and bring these matters to court. So what are your thoughts about how the gang had used helicopters to supply and drop drugs around the country? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.